Hey, what's up, guys? It's Drums, and I'm coming back to you guys after four weeks of having no cable or internet. I got a hotspot about a week ago, but I still couldn't put up videos because they are on data plans, and I, it would take up all the data if I put up one video. I learned that the hard way, and, and I had to change my plan and add on more data and spend like 90 more bucks. So, yeah, so uh, definitely some advice if you get a hotspot and you want to uh, put up videos, don't use your hotspot for that. Go to Starbucks or something where there's free Wi Fi. Do it that way because if you upload a video, you will use up all your data. I promise. Anyways, guys, um, so yeah, basically, I've been, it's been, it's been four weeks and I've had no cable internet. Drips, why has it been four weeks? You just moved and you haven't installed like one week after you move in, usually. Well, no. And I'm gonna go ahead and explain what kind of bullshit that I've gone through this past four weeks with retarded ass trees and freaking internet companies. Okay. So basically, Services that have a signal basically mainly have towers in the southeastern part of, of my state in uh, here in California. And what the fucking technicians who the from the four different services came out and told me the same thing. There's this tree that is in the front. And it is literally about a hundred foot tall tree. And it's just very wide with, you know, bushes. It's just a signal blocker, I guess you could say. And with four different companies, since those companies have towers in the southeast, this tree is blocking what direction? Hmm. Oh, yeah. The southeast. So, we would schedule a freaking installation date with one company, okay? And then fucking they would come out here and just tell us the same thing. So, for four weeks, each week, we would schedule something. They would come out. I would hope that it would work this time. Hopefully, this service has a different, you know, way of installing stuff. I don't know why I didn't call beforehand and figure this out. I don't fucking know. I just want to get some fucking internet. So, for for four four weeks, four different companies, we basically wasted our time and had them come out. They would tell us the same thing, even though on the phone, you know, they were like, "Yeah, it's gonna be cool." Yeah, yeah. well, no, it's it's not gonna be cool. So yeah, for uh, four weeks, we uh. Basically went through bullshit trying to get some internet, and he finally got a Time Warner. The uh, services we were gonna go for, we had BIOS at Roadhouse, but uh, BIOS isn't a uh, service in our new area. So we were gonna see um, a Verizon Home Broadband, um, Dish, Direct TV, and Comcast. All four of those have towers in the southeast, therefore the stream was fucking it all up. So we got Time Warner, finally. Yeah, so. With that said, guys, I apologize. This shit, I promise, is not going to happen again. Uh, no more interruptions. Daily videos. This game's going to be awesome. Let's fucking get it. Anyways, let's touch on my thoughts on the game, my opinions. Um, let's see. I, I love this game. I love this game. Um, it, it's a great game. It runs really smooth. I love the maps. I love the guns. I love how it plays. I just, I love this game. Now, what, what I don't love is how how people play this game, especially in pubs. Every time you die, literally, literally, somebody's in a head glitch, somebody's camping in a fucking corner, hard aiming with the radar, or it's some fucking bouncing Betty, some bullshit, like he's just retarded. Now, that's just one flaw, and every game has flaws, but it just seems like this one flaw is just... It's just blown out of proportion. It's just huge. Like, it, it, everybody's camping. It just seems like everybody's camping, man. And it's just... It, it sucks. It sucks. You know? Um... You know? It's just... I don't understand. So... Yeah. Um... So yeah, let's start with my thoughts and stuff. Um... So basically, besides... All the campers had glitches, you know, besides that, this game is a great game. Sorry there, I just got fucking sidetracked from watching a movie up here, and I just kind of watched it, and I was like, yeah, so, um, yeah, I kind of lost track, I apologize, anyways, um, yeah, so let's get it popping, um, uh, so basically as far as, uh, competitive, this, this game, it's kind of iffy, uh, there's been talk of score streaks, equipment, all this crazy shit, and I don't really know what's gonna happen, you know, as far as, as far as competitive. Now, I doubt that it's gonna die, but I think it's gonna, uh, these new, this change is gonna 
just change everything. And you know, I don't really know what to say. Um, I can't really speak for the community. I can speak for myself, and I can agree that score streaks would bring a new change to the game without, without, you know, straying away from our roots. But you know, as far as guardians and bouncing Bettys and claymores, fuck no, that doesn't take skill. We play our game, our competitive, to get away from pubs. Why would you bring them back to us? You know, but. Then again, this is a very small community, and in order for us to have big tournaments, I think that we need to bring more people to our city. And I think putting in some score streaks, some equipment, I think that would help our community out. And you know, there was a great point on the rant from, oh, let's face, uh, Boss Nasty, um, that we need to grow and then refine, not refine and try to grow at the same time. And that was a great point, and I totally agree. And then after I heard him talk, I'm telling you, my mind was changing. Because at first, I was like, score streaks? Equipment? The fuck? The fuck is this? Like, why would you do that? But, you know, after really thinking, we do need to grow. And, you know, this is this is a... It's, it, it would help, you know? It would help. You know? So, yeah, guys, I'm going to uh, cut it off there. Uh, save my opinions for the next video. Um, so yeah, uh, for this gameplay, um, I'm actually playing against. Uh, he was ranked like 27th in the world in our free for all, and me and him are neck and neck throughout this game. And if, and yeah, um, uh, me and him have a pretty cool uh, gunfight to see who wins the game. Me and him are tied 29-29, and me and him have a gunfight. So basically, whoever wins that gunfight wins the game. So it's totally, totally close. I thought that uh, this game was definitely worth uh, uh, putting on my channel, especially for my first video in Black Ops 2. And you're not going to see a lot of pubs from me. Uh, probably you'll see uh, league play matches and scrims. You know, that's probably all you're going to see on my channel. Some pubs, you know, some pubs, but uh, mainly uh, competitive uh, content, which is what you saw for me on uh, Modern Warfare 3. So yeah, guys, I uh, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, you know, I'm back, uh, daily videos, if you like the, the video, leave a like, uh, comment, subscribe, and guys, later.